Hello everybody and welcome back to the Moldy Worm Gaming Channel. My name is Moldy Worm 41975 and today is a very exciting day. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am, but I am super, super hyped because this has just arrived. And you already know what this is, I already know what this is. Um, you've seen the thumbnail and the title of the video, but today we're going to be doing a Xbox Series X unboxing video. And just quickly before we get into the unboxing, I did actually make a video the other day, right here, um, where I went and discussed between a PlayStation 5 and an Xbox Series X, which one I preferred and also why. So if you're interested to see that discussion video, then I'll leave a link in the description to that if you want to go and watch it. But you're all here for an unboxing, so let's get this thing started. I've got another camera going just over there. Um, I've just switched to that camera now. So you can just see what I'm doing a little bit better. Um, this is hopefully going to be a bit more professional than some of my previous unboxing videos. But it is quite a big boy, so I've got my trusty pair of scissors here. We'll just open up that. Uh, we'll open this top part here. We need to just fold that down. It's, um, <laughs> it's quite large. We've got a load of packaging on there, so we'll just chuck that on that chair for now, and then we have another box. Um, I got mine through Amazon Prime, there we have it, and I don't think there's anything else in there, no there is not, so we'll chuck all that, we'll chuck all that in there, and then we can work with just this smaller box down here. So, um, we've got a little bit of tape, so we'll just put that with the scissors. Oh, it's getting exciting. I can see green. That is always an exciting part. There is green right here. That means Xbox. Get into it. This this honestly feels like Christmas. It is like Christmas come early, but I've put, bought this myself, and I knew it was coming. So it still feels like Christmas because it's like unwrapping everything. There's no like fancy wrapping paper, but it is kind of yeah. So um, just to show you at the moment, we've got the Halo. Um, thing on the back there. I don't know if Halo comes with it, um, or if that's just some art they've put on the back, but there we have it. One terabyte SSD Xbox Series X. Really, really exciting. Let's chuck that box to the side, and now I can sit down again, and we can continue. So, I'm going to get it out, because obviously, why would I not? Uh, we have to cut this little tab here. Cut this little tab here. I don't know if you can tell how excited I am, but I am I'm really, really excited for this. Um, I've been waiting quite a long time to get the new Xbox, so when it finally arrived this morning, uh, I leapt out of bed, I went and picked it up, and now I'm doing this unboxing video, so I haven't even had breakfast yet, I haven't brushed my teeth yet, I haven't had a shower yet, so I'm literally, <laughs> this is the first thing I'm doing today, obviously the most important thing today. We'll just stick that on there, and now, this is the beauty, we can fold it forwards and reveal the contents of the box. I'll try and do it as much as I can on this top camera, um, just because it's a bit more visible, I think. The side camera down here, 
doesn't show as much as I'd like to, but I'll keep switching between them. So we have these little blocky things just to hold it in shape. We have the instruction manual, basically tells you some information about it. Um, not really that important. I know what everything does. Now, an interesting thing just before we continue is the Series X controller does take batteries. So if you're watching this video to decide whether to buy a Series X, then just know it does take batteries. You can buy a separate um, rechargeable battery pack that slots in the back and then you plug a wire in to charge it. So basically how the PlayStation works. So you can buy that separately, but it is quite expensive. I think it's about 30 pounds. So you don't get that from the start. So just know that if that's something that you're interested in. But then we have the big boy. Let me, oh, it's quite heavy. There it is. Oh, it's upside down. Power your dreams, Xbox. And it has this little thing that just slides off. I'm gonna do this on this front camera because I think that's better. And it has this nice little packaging. It is really heavy though. If you're, if you're wondering how heavy it is, it weighs as much as a PC would weigh. I'll just put it like that. I mean, I guess it basically is like a tower PC. And there we go. Let's reveal it. I have unwrapped it upside down. Typical. <laughs> there we go. Let me flip it over. That's the base there. Has all this ventilation in. That is the front right there. So there we go. That is the thing. And then the back. That is the back. You get some USB ports and all that good stuff. And then it has the green on the top there. Hopefully that's coming across on the camera. Now, something I did read about, the green on the top, which in all of the um, videos and stuff I've seen releasing the Series X, that actually glows up, but in fact it doesn't. In real life, it doesn't glow. The, the green in the top of the console does not glow. It's literally just painted on the inside. So that green that you see in there does not glow. So if you're buying it purely for that reason, I'm sorry to let you down, but I'm not really too fussed about that. I've never been a big fan of fancy lights and stuff. But there we go, that is the Series X. But that's not all we have. We also have the controller. So let's go ahead and get that out. I'm guessing that's in this little undercovery part over here. So we'll just set that box to one side for now and we'll just pop the Xbox over there. And we now have this box here. So let me go ahead and unwrap this. And that is going to be the controller. We'll get to that in just one second. We've obviously got the power cord for the Xbox. And also, so they've wrapped all this together. Oh no, they're actually just apart. So we've got the HDMI over here. And then we've got the power cord, which is just there. Let's see what else we have in here. Nothing really exciting. We've got the user guide um, made by Microsoft, obviously. And that just tells you everything in here about <laughs> photosensitive seizures, usage, cleaning, all the usual rubbish that nobody's ever what, read in their life. Um, I don't think I've ever read a manual. Um, but then we get to the actual controller. So let's undo this. This has a nice little wrapper thing on it as well. And I've not ever used an Xbox One, so this is all sort of quite new to me. Uh, we actually have the, it does come with batteries, so you get two batteries with it. They're just double A, sort of the normal batteries. They do come with it, so that's quite nice. You can hop straight into it. 
But then we have the actual controller, and there it is. It looks very, very similar to the series, uh, to the Xbox One controller. If you have an Xbox One, you might say it looks identical. The only difference is, obviously, the uh, D-pad is slightly different. And we also now have a share button, which is this one in the middle. So, so if you've played on PlayStation, then you will know that PS4 has a dedicated share button. And Xbox wanted to copy that, so it is a bit easier to access your video files and, and uh, screen recording and stuff now because you have the dedicated share button. So that's quite interesting. On the back we have, um, I don't know if that, you can quite see that on the camera, but it does have some like um, little bumps on the back, some little like grippy bits. So that's really nice. Uh, they're also on the triggers. There's some nice little gritty bits. I don't think that's coming across on camera. Um, and then obviously we have the battery pack, which is just right here. And that is obviously where you put your batteries in. So let's, um, I'm not actually sure how you release that. Um, I'll have to have a look into that. But then in the bottom of the controller, we have this. Um, this is the USB, um, so you can get um, data off your controller and you can change the colour of things. I, I don't really know what this does to be quite honest with you, um, but then obviously we have the headphone jack right here. This is for your microphone and headset. and uh, That's really nice that they have now gone to a 3mm headphone jack because I remember on the Xbox uh, 360, um, it was a different size jack, so you had to buy a specific microphone headset if you want to use that, uh, which was really annoying. Um, it was a little bit petty by Microsoft, but they have now uh, adapted that to a 3mm headphone jack, which for any of you who don't know, 3mm is just a normal size. It's what you'll plug into your phone. It's what you can plug into the computer. So if you have another headset, you can now use it on the Xbox, which is really nice. Um, it saves you having to buy another headset. But that is gonna do it for the unboxing. Um, hope you did enjoy. I'll bring it over here one more time for you to have a look at. And we have the controller. Um, yeah, over the next couple of weeks and months, I'm gonna be making a lot of videos using the Series X. Um, I didn't really want to go over the specifications too much in this video, um, but for those of you wondering, it can run games at 60 FPS in 4K, which is pretty incredible. Um, so if you're considering buying one, I definitely recommend it. I haven't even used it yet, and I can already definitely recommend it. Um, there's going to be a bunch of awesome games coming out like Microsoft Flight Sim, which I am going to be covering in the next couple of weeks when they release. And yeah, hope you did enjoy this unboxing. If you did, then please smash the like button and subscribe if you are new. I do unboxing videos like this fairly often. So if you do enjoy those kind of things, definitely stick around. And I will see you all in the next video.